Hello and welcome to the last and most interesting shape of our quadrilaterals. So far, we have looked at the properties of six special quadrilaterals. Can you list them now quickly? We've looked at the square, the rhombus, the parallelogram, the rectangle and the kites. To make each of these quadrilaterals, we transform different kinds of triangles. Remember, we can reflect, rotate, or translate shapes. In today's lesson, we're going to look at the properties of one last quadrilateral, the trapezium. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to draw and describe the properties of any trapezium. Create and describe the properties of an isosceles trapezium. A trapezium is a quadrilateral in which one pair of opposite sides is parallel. And that's all. As in all the other lessons, we can use triangles to make this trapezium shape. Here are some right angle triangles. Have a careful look at them. Can you see any way of making a trapezium from them? Did you find a way of making a trapezium? Look at what I did. I made the trapezium by flipping the triangle along this side. I got a square. Then I flipped this triangle along this side. And there's my trapezium. Now look at this. Here is a way to make a trapezium without anything except a ruler. Draw a short line along the top of the ruler and a longer line along the bottom of the ruler. Their lengths don't matter. Then just join up the ends. As you can see, a trapezium is simply a quadrilateral with one pair of opposite sides parallel. These two are parallel, but these two are not. And in this one, these two sides are parallel and these two sides are not. These two sides are parallel and these two sides are not. Let's investigate whether there are any other properties of trapezium. Okay, let's start with the sides. We can see that this side and this side are definitely not equal. And if you look at this, these two are definitely not equal as well. What about the diagonals? I'll draw them in and then measure them. Clearly, we can see that this diagonal is not equal to this diagonal. Anything else about the diagonals? Let's see. The diagonals do cut each other, but do you think they bisect each other? Let's do a quick test with a piece of string. So if I place my piece of string on the diagonal like this, let's check whether this length and this length are equal. No, it's not. Let's check with the big part of the diagonal. And here? Nope. It doesn't fit. So we can see that the diagonals do not bisect each other. Okay, so there's no equal size by the looks of things and nothing special about the diagonals. What about the angles? Well, here's something to think about. Do you remember something about parallel lines? If you've got parallel lines, then we know quite a lot about the angles around the transversal. Can you see any transversals that cut both parallel lines? Did you see them? It's these two sides over here and these two sides over here that are the transversals of the parallel lines. So here's my transversal and these are my parallel lines. Let's look at the angles here and this angle over here. Do you remember what these angles are called. Remember these angles on the same side or on the inside of the transversal. 
Do you remember what we call them? We call them co-interior angles. And co-interior angles on parallel lines add up to 180 degrees. Fantastic! We've managed to work out the only thing we know about the angles of a trapezium. Without actually measuring them with a the protractor, you can still see on these diagrams that these angles do not look equal. But the co-interior angles between the parallel lines are supplementary. Remember, supplementary means that they add up to 180 degrees. One last thing, let's not forget about symmetry. Have a look at the trapezium again. What lines of symmetry do you think it will have? Now, just looking at the shape, I can see that there are not likely to be any lines of symmetry. Let's have a go. If I fold it this way, nope, this way, definitely not, no ways. So there's no lines of symmetry. Let's recap what we've learned so far about trapeziums. A trapezium is a quadrilateral with only one pair of opposite sides parallel and the two co-interior angles between the parallel lines are supplementary or add up to 180 degrees. And that's all. Easy, hey? But there's a special kind of trapezium which we need to look at. To create this trapezium, we're going to use a cutout of a scalene triangle. We're going to use the edge of the page as a base and we're going to flip the triangle at this point here, like this. Now I'm going to join up the points at the tops here using my ruler and my pen. Right. Now let's trace along the sides. And here. Now if we move our triangles, we can see our trapezium. What do we know about this trapezium? First of all, it has one pair of opposite sides parallel. Now how do we know this? Well, we reflected this triangle along this point and then joined up the tops. We did not move up or down. Once you've drawn the trapezium, cut it out. Now try and find a line of symmetry for it. I tried and I did manage to find one across here like this. So we also know that this trapezium has one line of symmetry here. But what else do you notice about this? Do you see how as I folded it over it is clear that the two non-parallel sides are equal? Well this is not really surprising is it? Since we reflected the original triangle to this side here is an actual copy of this side here. So this trapezium, like all other trapeziums, has one pair of opposite sides parallel and the other pair of opposite sides equal. Can you guess what it is called? Think back to triangles which have two equal sides. They are called isosceles triangles. Well, this will now be easy to remember. A trapezium with two equal sides is called an isosceles trapezium. But keep thinking about the isosceles triangle. What do you remember about its angles? Yep, two of its angles are also equal. The two angles at the base of the equal sides. Would you expect the angles at the base of the equal sides of an isosceles trapezium also to be equal? Well, let's see. Here's an easy test. When I folded the trapezium over its line of symmetry like this, ta-da, this angle is equal, as well as these angles. 
Again, this is not really surprising, is it? Since again, we know that actually it is the same triangle, just reflected. So yes, the angles at each base of an isosceles trapezium are equal to each other. Finally, let's look at the diagonals of the isosceles trapezium. Let's measure them using our string. This is the one diagonal. Let's check it with the other one. We found that they are equal. Let's summarize what we have found in this lesson. A trapezium is any quadrilateral with only one pair of opposite sides parallel. The co-interior angles between the parallel lines are supplementary. In an isosceles trapezium, the non-parallel sides are equal. The angles at the base of the equal sides are also equal and the diagonals are equal. Do you think that the other kinds of triangles will also create trapeziums? What will the trapezium look like if we used other kinds of triangles? Here is your task. Which other triangles make trapeziums? Well, we got through a lot today. Don't forget to try everything we did yourself so that you can see that it really does work. So until next time, we will be reviewing all of the quadrilaterals we've done so far. Salani Gashley.